I talked to eCapital News Director Sean Ashley to find out what else happened in a slow-paced week at the Capitol. Sean, the governor has signed about six dozen bills, vetoed a few. One of the bills signed was a minimum wage bill. Tell us about that. Well, this is sort of an interesting bill on one hand and not so interesting on another. Uh, the bill signed by the governor prevents other political subdivisions in the state, counties and cities, from enacting their own minimum wage laws. Now, on one hand, that may sound outrageous, uh, but we have another of what so -called pre a number of other so-called preemption laws um, th throughout state statutes. Uh, as you may recall, a year ago, for example, there was a lot of argument over a pre preemption law related to smoking, whether counties and municipalities could have more strict standards to prohibit smoking than, than the state did. And ultimately, that was modified a little bit. So it's not unusual for the state to do this kind of thing. Uh, at the same time, of course, though, the minimum wage de debate has been a big one within the United States as a whole, uh, with, the, with the president, for example, proposing that it be increased, and in fact, increasing it for, for federal government contracts. So I suspect this is an issue that's going to continue to be discussed. One group that will be getting a pay raise, it appears, troopers. It appears they will be getting a pay raise, that's correct. Earlier this week, the House passed a bill that provides for trooper pay raises uh, based on a study conducted last year that, that looked at pay for all state employees and recommended a number of pay increases and benefit changes. Now, what this bill does is simply set the stage, the framework for those pay raises. The bill contained no money. At this point, we don't have a budget agreement, and as a result, we don't know how those raises will be funded, and therefore the levels uh, which might be provided. Governor Fallon had recommended in her executive budget about $5 million for those pay raises. But it could be a significant amount percentage-wise. It could be a significant amount. What will have to happen is that the Department of Public Safety and the Office of Management and Enterprise Services will work together to come up with those rates and then pass them on to the troopers. The Senate passed a bill regarding RU486. That's right. Uh, a, prox uh, a, little, a little less than a year ago, uh, the Oklahoma Supreme Court ruled, excuse me, an, an Oklahoma County District Court ruled uh, that a bill passed in 2013 was unconstitutional uh, because it was too much of a limit on access uh, to this medically inducing abortion drug. Uh, this year, looking at what the court did, the, the legislature came back and attempted to address those issues uh, by putting legislative intent into the law, as well as explicitly stating that it was available for eptopic, eptopic pregnancies, uh, and it passed the Senate and is going to the governor. There's another bill that created the Oklahoma Quality Workforce Act. Tell us about that. Right. This is based on a study that was conducted uh, a year and a half ago by the Department of Commerce uh, that looked at areas, jobs in the state that would help produce wealth. And what this does is provide employers an opportunity to help pay their employees' costs in obtaining these various certificates and, in some cases, uh, associate's degrees and even bachelor's degrees, and then receiving a rebate for those costs. Uh, however, the rebate was greater than the amount that uh, they would be paying, uh, which struck some members of the House of Representatives uh, as rather wrong. As a result, it failed in the House earlier in the week. On Thursday, Representative Elise Hall attempted to bring that bill back up for consideration and once again was stifled uh, when they refused to proceed with the bill. This was a relatively quiet week at the Capitol heading into Easter weekend, but next week will be much more interesting. That's right. Uh, each side has approximately 100 bills from the other chamber, chamber to consider, uh, so they will be quite busy on the floor. E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley, thank you. You're very welcome.